let's take a look at how to measure the diameter of the field of view under a microscope. So the first thing that you're going to need is a ruler. This ruler has a metric side and a uh, standard side. So the metric side has um, centimeters and the tiny lines are millimeters. And then the standard side, of course, is inches. I'm going to use the standard side uh, just so as not to take away the um, challenge of the lab for you, but still show you the right techniques. But you do want to use the metric side. You'll know that because a millimeter is about, or sorry, a centimeter is about the width of your pinky, whereas an inch is much more than that. So you want to match your pinky up to the numbered lines. And if it's about pinky width, then you have the centimeter or metric side of the ruler. So when you put your ruler under your microscope, first of all, make sure the stage is down and that you're on low power. You want to turn your light source on, adjust your diaphragm and make sure it's clicked in at a good setting. When you slide your ruler on, make sure it's right side up, otherwise you're going to have some issues. And slide it so that the edge of the ruler is uh, right halfway through uh, the opening in the stage of your microscope. I have it under the stage clips to keep it still. So now I'll use my course focus to bring it into focus, course adjustment. When I bring it into focus, I'll see uh, some dark lines on there. Those are the measurement lines on the ruler. So you want to line those up so that one of your lines, measurement lines is on the uh, left edge of your field of view. And so that the edge of the ruler goes across the center of your field of view. And I'll show you what that looks like here. So using this, you want to uh, uh, measure, you want to count the lines with the first line being zero. And the second line uh, would be one. And the third line would be two. And it looks like it goes about another half of a space, so that'd be two and a half, whatever these units are going across. The next step is to measure the diameter of the field of view under low power, sorry, under medium power. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're centered and focused, and we'll switch our microscope to medium power. Should only have to fine tune it at this point a little bit using either the course or the fine adjustment. and center your line in it. And I'll show you what I see here. And what I see is one line on the left edge. So starting on the left edge of that line and going over to the left edge of the next line would be one. And then it looks like it goes a little bit further. So I'd say maybe 1.1 or 1.2, uh, whatever these units are across. That's how big the diameter of the field of view is uh, under medium power. Now I'll switch to high power and we'll recenter. I'm going to slide it back and forth until I see one of the lines and adjust the fine focus and I'll show you what we see. So here you see the, um, the line takes up most of the field of view and it's even kind of blurry so I'm having a difficult time getting, getting this in focus. So, under high power, this is not going to be the best way to measure the field of view. But what you do know is that low power is 4x magnification times the eyepiece makes it 40x magnification. And high power is 400x magnification. So since high power is 10 times more magnified than low power, 400 is 10 times more than 40. That means that your field of view is going to be 10 times smaller. So all you have to do to find your field of view under high power is divide your field of view under low power by 10. Uh, that's about it. When you're done, make sure you move the stage down, slide your ruler out under low power, and then you can turn it off and clean up.